Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Snack. We do have a live tournament action coming at you right now. It's going to be on GSL's Daybreak, apparently the official version. I love how they put the official in brackets. It makes it seem so much more, I don't know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Official. Yeah, that'll work. But uh, good stuff here. It's going to be Master vs. Master action, kicking it off. Protoss vs. Zerg style here on a two-player map. Vinny taking on Felvo. Both of these guys, phenomenal players. I'm uh, very, very excited for this one. Vinny was excited today. He wanted to have his matches cast. I think he wants to have some YouTube videos to show his friends. Uh, so I uh, will absolutely oblige. That is what I do. <laughs> Got to love it. But it is going to be Vinny spawning as our orange Protoss player down here at the bottom left-hand corner. Top Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Top right, it is Felvo spawning as our red Zerg. I love PvZ on this map. The one interesting thing to me about this map is that the third is actually fairly difficult for all races to take. Um, they can either take this one, which is kind of the closest one. It's I think is set up to be the best one, but it's got this kind of choke here that's uh, difficult to navigate come the mid to late game with your entire army. And I guess unless you're Zerg and you've got like mass lings or something. But uh, yeah, this one can be difficult for a lot of people to hold, and then your only other choice, really, for a full third is this one right here. Otherwise, you do see a lot of people cruising down this ramp. They take out these destructible debris, and they take this half expansion for their third. It does have a rich Vespian geyser, but only six mineral fields there. So just a couple things we want to note about this map there. Now, it is a best of one here, so uh, no second game, nothing like that. We've got to take a winner down right here, right now, and looking like... Felvo going for his gas here and probably going to see a spawning pool right behind that and then his hatchery shortly thereafter won't be too long but Vinny going to be working on a wall off here he does have his gateway going down in decent time why wow, it seems like I'm lagging just a little bit kind of interesting there hopefully that will clear up I tend to have a pretty good internet connection but uh, I guess every now and then things get a little bit dicey can I say but looks like uh, Vinny got his gas going down here in fairly decent time. Going to be shaping up for a nice opener there. Standard openers here, I'd say, from both players. Nothing strange and nothing crazy quite yet. But we do see that spawning pool going down. Looks to be about 50% complete and still no expand here from Felvo. He's got up until about the three and a half minute mark before you really consider it a late expansion for a Zerg. But all in all, well, I guess that's not really entirely true. Just depends on the build, but I guess on a big map like this, we would expect to see a, uh, a hatchery go down here fairly shortly. But looks like Vinny cruising around here trying to figure out what's going on. He was, I think, a little bit mystified there as well. He's like, where the heck is the expansion? We do have the extractor complete, but notice that he just got just barely enough gas to start that metabolic speed boost. And uh, then he stopped the mining there. Uh, so he's going to be working on his economy here, I assume, here for just a little while. Let's check in on Vinny. Vinny working on a wall off here. Looks like he had to use a pile on this one. Just didn't quite get placed properly. You need to move it over one more block, it looks like, for it to have been perfect there. But all in all, that is going to be a decent looking wall. The Zealot here guarding. And we do have a Stalker on the way. Kronos, I hear the Kronos still going down on the economy. So definitely not going to be seeing like a Korean 4 gate or anything like that. No super, super... No super fast aggression, that's for sure. Cool. Duck out that, taken care of. Got to do some adminning on occasion. Looks like Felvo did take his hatcher here. Some good stuff there. Whoops. One more, come on. Cool, so warp gate technology going to be complete here in just a little while. Sorry, I'm not very good at my multitasking. <laughs> As you can very well tell, I can't type and cast at the same time. That has been very difficult. But uh, we do have a lot of links here cruising out across the map. And there are void rays now on the field. Looks like he's got a, just two gateways at this point, as well as that stargate. And here comes an overlord. Is the overlord going to see it, though? Oh, my goodness. That was a dicey. He did not, however... Units tab, 
going to show economically Vinny taking the lead there, looking to be in fairly decent shape. We do have a lot of links here, but this this sentry going to be in great position to defend this as well as this zealot. So looks to be in fairly decent shape. Did that? Uh, did the zergling see that? No, he still didn't either. So wow, that uh, stargate placed very very nicely there has kept that secret for quite a while. Oh my goodness, look at this. He's cruising into the vision of this tower, and now it is scouted. It looks as though Felvo is saying, okay, time for a counter-attack. Good force fields here. Going to be very, very effective here. That zealot's like, wait a second. How did I get stuck on the outside of this battle? Well, you guys get to kick it back there in the back. They're like, you're melee. Get the heck out there and kill those guys. That's funny. That's good stuff. All right, so let's see. Uh, Vinny taking his expand here in pretty decent time. Let's go check in on his Void Raid. Already picking up one kill. Did take out an Overlord and going to be cruising in here. However, there is a Spore Crawler going to be completing here very shortly. And Double Queens here to fend this guy off. We're probably going to see a transition here from Vinny. Notice that Felvo going to be evacuating all of his Overlords here. Trying to get these guys to safety. Nice move. Absolutely got to do it. Felvo going to be cruising forward with one of those Overlords, however. To gather a little bit of intel, I assume. May even be sacking him. Gateway's going down here for Vinny. Nice little wall off there. Going to make these guys run around the Nexus to get up that ramp. Not a bad play. But all in all, Vinny's got a fairly decent defense here. Looks like he's poking in there. Got Oh, picked up a second kill. What, I wonder what he killed there. Whether it was a queen. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it was a queen. Probably just an overlord. But he still hasn't taken any real damage. Only on the shields, which is exactly the position you want to be in when you're playing Protoss with Void Rays, but it looks like Vinny now on his second base, units tab, whoops, units tab already there, going to show that we've evened out there in the economy, two base to two base here, so uh, we'll see if, Fel where Felvo is going to expand when he does choose to expand, and he's got about four, four minutes or so before he really has to do that, so anytime between now and then, we could see an expand for Felvo, just going to depend on what he's going to be teching to, let's check out what he's got here at this point, just spreading creep actually is the only thing he's got in production, Floating a little bit of minerals. I assume he's going to be spending it. There we go. It's going to be groove spines, missile attacks. He did get out that uh, hydro stint, so we're going to see hydras and I assume roaches here, but uh, maybe not. Who knows? There is not a roach warren, so hydras it is for sure. And uh, we do have so hydra ling is actually not a bad combo these days, but I half expect him to go for roach hydra, but we'll see how that's going to go here in just a little while. A lot of Hydras, though, coming out on the field right now. Hydra's going to be super effective. As long as he can be in, in correct numbers and stave off the force fields from sentries, the Hydras will be very, very effective against these gateway units, especially since it's shy on the Zealot side there. Zealot's really good against those Hydras. But uh, let's take a look at what we've got for our army composition. And it looks as though... Vinny massing up just as a Protoss should here. Got a pretty good. It's interesting to see the difference there. Units lost just going to show that Felvo did lose a couple things here and there. Looks like he's being active with his Void Ray. This Void Ray did pick up another kill. Going to have to evacuate though. But he does see this movement out across the field here. Felvo cruising out, of the, out across the field here with Hydras. Oh my goodness, this Void Ray is absolutely going to die. Dead to the world, that is for sure. And here comes an attack, it appears, from Felvo. I don't think this is going to go very well for him. He does not have quite enough units here to be super effective. He's going to be cruising up here with a couple of these lings and then going to be backing out here, waiting for either reinforcements or maybe even backing out completely. Notice that he is taking his third. He did choose this natural third kind of position here. It just can be a little bit difficult to defend just because of that distance between these two bases. But Felvo cruising out across the field, going to take out these destructible debris in the center. Need to see a little bit more creep spread, I think. Those, those Hydras really need that creep to be super effective, especially if you want to reinforce Hydras across this very, very large map. But a lot of Hydras now out here in the center of the map. Looks like he is going to be gearing up for an attack here, potentially. But in the meantime, Vinny going to be going for his expand in that same third position. So we'll see if anybody's going to have trouble defending their expansions or not. Could be that they just don't have to worry about it. Destructible Debris here going down for Felvo. Felvo trying to get in here. Oh, going to be splitting out these units just a little bit. Nice little play there from Felvo, but looks as though Vinny going to get these guys together. Toss it down some good force fields there. Going to keep most of these guys at bay, but a lot of those, a lot of those zealots going to be dying very, very quickly. 
It looks as though Felvo going to have to back out. Let's just check in on that unit's loss tab. See where we're at. Looks as though Felvo still slightly behind, but not by very much. So in all in all, though not a bad deal. Units tab going to show 61 drones for Felvo. 51 for Vinny, so great economic position there for Felvo as he moves forward here. Looks like he may even be gearing up for another base. Wow, he's got this queen headed over to that expand. Looks like he's going to go ahead and start doing some inject larva there. Not a bad deal. Vinny does have this nexus going down here, but a little bit late. Looks like he may have had to cancel that or something. We may have missed it. That's okay. We do have plus one armor going down. We already have that plus one attack out. Probably going to see plus two right behind. Colossus has been that tech switch here for Vinny. So not a bad deal there. He's going to be getting out some more of those, I assume. I'm probably going to see him go for charge here eventually as well. But he's got double forges. I would like to see him using them. Uh, I think is probably the best bet at this point. But he did get out his extended thermal lance already for those robotics. And what do we have? Burrow, Burrow on the way here for Felvo, as well as that missile attack level 2. We've got Glilria Constitution and the Zerg Carapace level 1. A lot of roaches now cruising out on the field, so we were right. It is going to be Roach Hydra here for just a little while, and he's taking double expands. He's getting up to the point where he can just expand at will, and as long as he can keep keep his opponent out of his base, he can just start throwing away armies over and over and over again and just wear his opponent out that way. We've seen that before. We actually saw that last night in a Sea Calms match. It was absolutely brutal. But uh, good stuff so far from Felvo. It looks like he's shaping up to be in great position. Vinny going to be cruising out across the map here with a fairly substantial force. This could be a great time for him to push and attack. Let's just check in on that army composition here for Felvo. He's got a decent number of Hydras here, a decent number of Roaches as well. But uh, these Hydra is going to be less effective against these these uh, Colossus here as long as the force fielding is good. So let's see where Vinny is going to head from here. Would like to see him go ahead and make an attack. He's waiting for looks like his third Colossus to join that army. A great number of Colossus there. Going to be taking out some overlords here that are spreading a creep highway. And it is about to be go time here. Extended Thermal Lance right next to that Zelnaga Tower is always fun. Great force fields here. Going to be blasting these guys away. Another good set of force fields trapping a couple of those units. These guys trapped in the mineral line. Looks like they're going to find another route to safety. In the meantime, this, this hatchery absolutely going to be going down. Nice looking push here from Vinny. Going to be taking out quite a few units. However, he's got to be careful. He's running out of energy on these sentries. He's got, can't, can't use all of it up. He's got to be able to save that to deny at least one more expansion, I think, at this point. And taking this one out, probably going to be a great choice. It looks like it is absolutely go time here. Good force fields here, going to prevent a Zergling run in. And down goes that hatchery. Felvo taking a fairly substantial beating. Look at that queen not even getting sniped. I would go ahead and snipe the queen, but uh, yeah, whatever. A couple roaches here. Oh, he should know, since he saw that roach cruising out here, he should know that there's another expand down here and go ahead and try and take that out. Looks like he is going to cruise around right to the front door, though interesting play so he skirted that and now he's going to cruise up the ramp oh but he's in a choke he doesn't want to get stuck in that choke too soon there he goes up to the high ground looks like he's going to be in decent position there good force fields here going to keep most of these guys out of harm's way but look at that bailing drops on top of Vinny's army and almost all of these units going down nice play there from Felbo Felbo doing a heck of a lot of damage here and it looks as though Vinny going to have to back out here now let's just check in on that units tab Notice that Felbo at a rockin' and rollin' economic position here. Going to be in great shape. Vinny trying to scramble these units away. Salvage just a few there. But he's got to be working on some more units here quickly, quickly, quickly. He's starting to fall behind in that unit counting tab there. So, brutal stuff. Nice defense there from Felbo. Sacking enough bases, making Vinny feel a little bit comfortable, I think. And then he exploited it with those Baneling drops. Beautiful play. No more... No more overlords, it looks like, looks like with banelings in them, however. But his economy here is absolutely ridiculous. So, look at that. 79 drones. My goodness. He can just remax an army here. He needs to probably have a, like a macro hatch, though, in his main. Or something to the... Or maybe even at his natural or both, even. But you've got to have a good macro hatches 
when you've got this um, this army, especially if your opponent's going to try and snipe your expand. So, but four bases here for Felvo. It looks like his main is about to be mined out. So really only three mining bases. But same thing here for Vinny. His main his main just about mined out. So only on two mining bases can be gear, gearing up for another attack here in just a moment. He's got Void right now mixed into that army. A good number of stalkers. And a triple Colossus, so not a bad deal. But here comes the attack from Felvo. Uh-oh. These guys are headed up to this position here just to check things out. And they are going to find and expand in the works. I'm going to see some cancels here, I assume. Either that or Vinny is going to have to cruise out across this field ASAP to get in position to defend it. Looks like more Banelings here at the ready for Felvo. Not going to happen this time, though. It looks like this defense may go down in fairly decent time for Vinny. Vinny looking to warp in a couple of units here. Not a bad deal. And taking these units out. But look at this. We do have a drop in the back of Vinny's main. These guys could be cruising in a couple of good Zerglings here. Getting in and doing a lot of damage here. Going to need a couple more warp ins than just that one, one Zealot to deal with this. There we go. Looks like the Colossus should be able to deal here. Good stuff. Got to be careful. Looks like he is going to have to start thinking about potentially pushing out here. He does have a fairly substantial army here. That is quite a few. Where are these guys going? Don't go back up to your high ground. Oh my goodness. Get back out there. He sent his whole army to kill one Ling. That's okay. It happens to everybody. But Vinny going to have to think about cruising forward here. I think this is a good time for him. Felbo going to be maxed out here in just a moment. Vinny's got a fairly strong army. He's got good upgrades. That plus two, plus one going to be super handy as he cruises out across the map. Let's just check in on Felbo. Felbo ready and a rare to go. He's got plus two, plus two on these guys. So slight ad up advantage there. The only thing that I can say is that Vinny's really going to have to have good force fielding. He does have a couple of these uh, sentries in there. Going to have to take these Take those sentries and keep them in great position and get good force fields to demolish that army of Felvo. And he wants to be able to do more than just kill the army. Trading armies at this point not going to be helpful for Vinny. Here comes the defense from Felvo. We can see him streaming down across the map. Looks like this hatchery is going to go down absolutely. A couple drones going to die here as well. Looks like Felvo is going to say, you know what, come on down through that choke there. That's where we want to engage. Going to be waiting for just a moment. Also waiting for those banelings in the overlords to come and party and here comes your attack and here comes the overlord drops Banelink drops like crazy there good stuff and look at how many corruptors we've got on the field here these corruptors gonna be cleaning up these colossus here very very quickly unfortunately for those colossus but looks like he may lose a good deal of those corruptors as well would like to see him go ahead and commit a couple units here to uh, taking these guys out. But got to cruise through. He's really got to make this happen. Felvo going to be remaxing an army here fairly quickly. A couple more Banelings getting dropped there. There were four left in the mix there. But here's some reinforcements. A good thing for Vinny. He's absolutely got to be effective with these units here. Going to be cruising forward here and trapping these roaches almost in many respects. Good damage being dealt, but he's got to be careful. Cannot lose too many of these units. Because Felvo remaxing his army over and over and over again here. And going to be doing a heck of a lot of damage when it comes down to it. And Vinny could potentially fall behind, so he's got to be careful. But some more roaches streaming across here. Got to get these guys focusing down the roaches there, I think, just a little bit. Taking out a lot of overlords, not a bad deal. Felvo not going to get supply blocked here anytime soon. Well, I mean, I guess not too bad. But uh, Vinny now in fairly decent shape. He does have four mining bases, only one mining base for Felvo, so he will be unable to remax here super quick, that's for sure. We don't have Blink, unfortunately, here for Vinny, so it looks like these guys are going to get cleaned out. Felvo going to be in pretty decent shape. Now he is retaking this expansion here quickly, quickly, quickly. Retaking this one as well. He's got to get back to mining ASAP. Oh, my cancel. What the cancel is going on here? Why did he cancel that? What is going on? He canceled that. I am very, very mystified. That is for sure. Oh, I think he wanted enough to get his greater spire out. Wants to get to that broodlord just that much faster. 
Uh, I am interested oh, to see how the, this this is going to start to turn into an all-in type play here, though. It's got to be careful. Notice that uh, Vinny going to be pumping out some Void Rays here. Not a bad idea, especially since there are going to be the potential threat of Broodlords out on the field. And uh, going to be getting some good Voids in the mix here. He probably needs to get Blink to be super effective against these Broods as well because he just doesn't quite have enough Void Ray production capability to take those guys down. But Greater Spire going to be complete here in just a little while. Looks like we are finally retaking a base here for Fevel, but doing a lot of long-distance mining. That is for sure. Yikes! Long distance mining, not tons of fun, that's for sure. But he is making it work here fairly well. It looks like another expand here for Vinny going down in fairly decent time, so not bad. He's really got a strong economy at this point. Going to be remaxing his army here, I think, is a smart move. Would like to see him pumping out these Void Rays non-stop. That is for sure. Yeah, Ice Fire out on the live stream, mystified as well. He said he's so confused as to why he doesn't remake those hatches. I don't know either. This long distance mining, I think, is really hurting him. I don't think getting that Greater Spire out was exactly what he wanted to do, but we do have Broodlords now on the way. There's going to be six of them. We've got a couple Infestors here, six Infestors, so not a bad-looking army. It just, I don't know if it's quite going to be enough. This army here for Vinny going to be super strong, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, I mean, look at all these Colossus in the army and the Void Rays, and he just doesn't have an answer for the Void Rays. I mean, look at this. I guess, well, I mean... Infested infestors, infested Terrans, maybe? I don't know. We're going to see, but it's going to be more Broodlords. Two more Broodlords on the way, but a good bunch of Broods. Not a bad deal. More Broodlords. Okay, there's seven, so it looks like nine Broodlords total. Ten Broodlords now. I was kind of surprised that Vinny is not pushing forward here. Either that may, strikes me as a little bit strange. I would like to see him tossing down some extra stargates and uh, maybe some extra gateways as well, so that he can just remax an army a little bit quicker. I think is probably going to be a smart move, but we'll see how that's going to go. Units tab going to show 66 probes to 62 drones. So through that, Felvo did keep his drones. Notice that he during those engagements he was burrowing them. I guess I should have mentioned that while we were in the engagements, but there was so much other stuff going on. Here comes your main attack here from Vinny. He's got a great deal of stalkers here. Still no Blink, though. I would like to see Blink cancel on that hatch for sure. And uh, Vinny's still a little tentative here. I, I kind of would like to see him move forward. I think is probably his best bet. Another hatchery going down here for Felvo. It looks like he's taking his time, but he's got... Oh, I don't know. I mean, that how many broods is that now? Ten broods still. More Infestors on the way, so he's going to be going Infestors, Broodlords. Interesting combo, that's for sure. But I think Vinny, now with a maxed out army, ought to go ahead and push this attack. Looks like he's just going to go deny the Expands again. Trying to pick his opponent apart here, which is, I mean, not a bad play. It's definitely a safe play, but you just want to be careful. You don't want to be too safe. I mean, at this point, is he's going to have a little bit of trouble with those Broodlords, especially because he doesn't have Blink. So he's got to be careful. Got to be careful, but uh, Vinny is keeping his opponent stuck now on one mining base. Look at that, he stalled and stalled all the mining though too. These drones burrowed here for the moment. Vinny is maxed out, he's got a couple mining bases here still. Looks like his natural is mined out, but uh, he does have one, two, three mining bases. Not too bad. This one is a half expand, but still, all in all, I think a great position to be in. He is keeping a forward position with this army, but notice that he's getting plus upgrades on those void rays. Nice choice there, I think. I still would like to see Blink. <laughs> uh. That's okay, but here comes the attack. Looks like he's going to be using his Guardian Shield. Absolutely going to be going for it. Good Fungo's going to be going down here. The Brood's in fairly decent position, but here comes your Voids. A lot of Voids here. Going to be doing a decent amount of damage. That is for sure. A lot of Fungo's going down on the Void Raids, though. But if any of these Void Rays live after these Infestors are gone, which they are going to be dying very, very quickly here, it is going to be difficult moving forward. That's for sure for Felvo. And look at this. He's going to be losing all of his Infestors. Basically, it's only AA at this point. And now all the Brood's going to be dying. 
Oh, brutal stuff. A nice push there from Vinny. Got that plus three, plus three. And there's the GG from Felvo. Vinny taking it down. Awesome game, man. That was fairly epic. Had a great time with that one, that's for sure. So we're going to be going into another game here in just a bit. Don't alt-tab. Always alt-starcraft. We'll see you guys then.